Namaste. Good afternoon. I have here with me an esteemed and distinguished guest, Professor Ramesh K. Goyal. He's the Vice Chancellor, Delhi Pharmaceutical Sciences and Research University, New Delhi, India. Oh, namaste, Professor. Oh, Thank you for coming and gracing this event with us despite your busy schedule. How do you find the conference so far? It is wonderful because it has brought delegates and the participants, not only from India, from different countries, with different specializations. So, it's a wonderful thing. So, is there anything about the conference that impressed you? See, the very impressive thing is this, uh, I will say it is a requirement to promote the traditional medicine, whether it is Ayurveda, Yunani, homeopathy or anything. The first and foremost thing is to have understanding about the what has been the discoveries made. The modern science is not something, we cannot say that it is something totally new. It might have been there in the ancient literature. We have to understand. We have to correlate that. The equipments were not there, but there was some understanding. So that's what I always feel that such conferences by openly accepting the modern scientist, openly accepting what other countries say, and then reanalyze and present in a proper way. Very, very good advice. Um, very encouraging words from Professor Goyal. So what Pantajali Research has been doing is to preach you know, more traditional medicine and modern and back up with modern science as well. So what would you advice for the scientists as we continue this journey? See, first and foremost thing I always tell is, which our new education policy also says, that have transdisciplinary approach, multidisciplinary approach. Don't feel that, don't work in silos. This is what is the main thing. Now, Patanjali, if suppose Ramdev ji or Pal Krishna ji have thought to just promote what is there in the Ayurveda only and according to their own method of formulations and all that, I don't think they could have reached to this height now. They accepted the principles of modern science also. I remember very early, maybe 20 years back, when all these things were going on through yoga, I still faintly remember I advised somebody that start documenting whatever the effects of yoga are. And I could see, probably slowly it got culminated into the modern way, accepting the modern principles. So, like recently in Jamnagar, the Center of Excellence for Analytical Ayurvedic, Analytical Formation for Traditional Medicine inaugurated by our honorable Prime Minister. It, ex it shows that we have a desire that we will not be in our own well rather. We are open to the whole world. So that is what is the requirement. And this Patanjali University is unique. Keeping the traditions, old traditions intact Rather, recognizing, having faith in our own systems written by Rishi Muni, to be translated before the world in the modern way. That is what is required. Such encouraging word, a very supportive word, and very good advice as the scientists at Pantajali Research Institute continue this journey together. In one line, describe Pantajali Research Institute. Pantajali Research Institute is unique because it is multidisciplinary, connecting ancient knowledge with the modern knowledge. Oh, thank you, thank you. Thank you so much, sir. And thank you so much for thank coming you. despite your busy schedule to no, grace this you. event. Thank you. my pleasure. I wish I could have come earlier and we had before our Bhagavad also in our university. And my objective is double fold. One is not only to see this and all working and but also to develop the MOU 
be more understanding that how together we can work. Yeah, we hope to see you uh, in the future in the next series as well. Definitely. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank oh, you so much. Namaste.